ever wondered why the United Kingdom has so many names? Well, let's unravel this mystery together, shall we? You see, the term Britain is derived from Britannia, an ancient term for the Roman province that covered much of what is now England and Wales. Great Britain, on the other hand, is a geographical term referring to the largest island in the British Isles and the United Kingdom. Well, it's a political term that encompasses England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. So the next time someone confuses Britain with the UK, you know what to tell them. Did you know that the Queen has more than just one official residence? That's right, Her Majesty has a selection of regal homes to choose from. Let's start with a lesser known one, Hillsborough Castle in Northern Ireland. This charming residence boasts a modest 24 rooms and is surrounded by beautifully manicured gardens. Just a little fun fact, it's not a castle in the traditional sense, but rather a grand Georgian country house. Moving on to Scotland, there's the Balmoral Castle, a favorite summer retreat for the Queen. With a whopping 50 rooms, it's a place that's steeped in royal history. And here's a tidbit for you. Queen Victoria was the first monarch to call Balmoral home. And of course, we can't forget the iconic Buckingham Palace with a staggering 775 rooms. It's the main residence of the Queen. Did you know it has its own post office? Imagine having to decide which castle to sleep in every night. Think you need to travel far for exotic wildlife? Think again. Let's start off the beaten path on the remote Isle of Staffa. Here lies Fingal's Cave, a geological wonder with naturally acoustical properties. This sea cave, composed entirely of hexagonally jointed basalt columns, creates a surreal cathedral of sound as the waves echo off the walls. It's like the earth is singing. Now, let's journey to Northern Ireland. There you'll find the Giant's Causeway, another masterpiece of Mother Nature. It's a strange sight to behold with about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic eruption. The most fascinating part, nearly all of the columns are hexagonal. It's like a giant's jigsaw puzzle, but instead of cardboard pieces, we've got massive stone columns. Who knew the UK was home to such natural marvels? It's not just castles and tea, folks. Next time you think of a nature trip, remember, the UK's got quite a few surprises up its sleeve. Let's not forget the UK's love for tea. In our journey today, we've uncovered the different names of the United Kingdom, explored the Queen's multiple residences, and marveled at the UK's natural wonders. We've peeked into royal abodes and roamed through breathtaking landscapes. The UK isn't just a place on the map, it's a tapestry of history, culture, and nature. So, the next time you're sipping on your British tea, remember, there's much more to the UK than meets the eye.